Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lynn. I am an overseas student from Vietnam who has the privilege to live and work in the UK. I'm now working as a locum pharmacist. In this video today, I will be sharing with you how much I've earned as a locum pharmacist. If you are a full-time pharmacist and you would like to consider a full-time locum pharmacist, the pros and cons of it, how much do I make, how it's affect my financial freedom journey, this is the video for you. If you find the video useful, please do not hesitate to press the like button and subscribe to my channel so that i can share the message to many more people and it is really helpful for the youtube algorithm so thank you very much in advance the most common questions that people ask me is that uh, why did you leave hospital do you earn much more working as a local pharmacist <sighs> I make the most amount of money I've ever made in my life and for me it's an automatic pay rise to my overall gross income has increased significantly uh, so even if I did work for 14 days per month I've already gathered a gross income of the same as when I was working full time so what is your rate per hour for me I value my time much more for me I would set up personal rate per hour so for example my rate per hour is 30 pounds then I will just select just a shift that within that range anything that's below that then I do not consider that I rather spend that time to doing other to learning to do any other thing that I could not delegate to other so how do I book my shift as a local pharmacist when I look at my diary I would ensure that I book enough shift for the month in advance enough to cover all of the living expense that require that month and leave some gaps in the calendar so that just in case there are some emergency shifts available and when we consider emergency shift you tend to get paid much more the other thing that I had to take into consideration is that even though that I might get paid much more if I am willing to travel much further the time it takes to get there and back uh, for me because I'm commuting to different places using public transport so if it's taking a lot longer just to earn extra five pounds for me I rather just forget about that and just book the shift that closer to my house so how do I schedule my time and it's also linking with the benefit of working as a local pharmacist you can take charge of your time and you can schedule your diary to whatever schedule it fits your circumstances the way I schedule my diary is that trying to schedule them as a professional athlete I would just, just do a sprint whether it could be working six days a week for three weeks in a row then take a good rest like a few weeks rest and reassess how my performance during the last three weeks what can I do to improve my productivity how can I plan it in advance and um, in terms of getting to places and doing any reflection for all of the shift that I've done so far what can I do to improve it how do I look after my body during that time when I'm working continuously my schedule would be sprint rest reassess and repeat again and that's what I love about being a local pharmacist right now because it's the I love the flexibility of it it fit my personality and the thing about being a so employed individual is that you are not going to have any holiday benefit or sickness cover because the day that when you are not well or you have to take time off to look after your family then there is a big chunk there's a cut in your earning so have that into consideration but again if we can plan in advance or we can prepare it so that we have a safety net to fall back on so the reason why I started doing this recording is not to show off how much I earn as a local pharmacist my main message for you guys is that it doesn't matter how much you are earning at your rate per hour whether it's 20 pounds 25 pounds 50 pounds an hour we are technically still trading our time for money we still have to go to the place doing the task and then get paid and that is not an answer to achieve your own ultimate financial freedom when we are young we can work five days six days seven days a week with no problem that is not sustainable there is a limited amount of energy and we have to preserve our body your body is your temple and if we are just sprint through working seven days a week eventually we were burnt out eventually your body would just go on strike we need to plan in advance or looking into other stream of income looking into investing or whatever it is looking into other options to maximize our passive income and a message that I want to share to newly qualified pharmacists yet it's really nice to jump from dispenser wage to a locum pharmacist wage it's, it's big term and it's nice to 
to see it like all of a sudden you have that fast in jump in amount of money that you would make but sometimes it's not just about the money i think the other ultimate question is that are you learning anything from the job compared to full-time employed pharmacists there's a lot of training that especially if you are at the beginning of your career the, the company or the hospital will be putting you into a lot of further education costs that will be beneficial for your career in a long term whether it's postgraduate pharmacy course or independent prescribing or management course if ultimately you want to be a pharmacist manager if you want to progress the career in hospital pharmacy and want to specialize in whether it's oncology or acute medicine or elderly care as a full-time pharmacist you will be enrolled into those courses that would be beneficial to you again another message to a full-time employed pharmacist if you are not progressing if you are not learning anything from your job that you are doing and just be surrounded with people doing the same tasks every single day and you're not progressing and you're not learning anything so maybe as a new year ahead it's maybe about time to consider other jump you know moving to a different sector to expand your knowledge a bit further or maybe consider local pharmacy give me the headspace the flexibility so that I could pursue other Thing, not just pharmacy. When I was working as full-time pharmacist, all I would do would just be thinking about work and what can I do to prevent, uh, to improve the system, or whether I would, I would just take the work home or staying extra, coming early or staying late so that I could finish the work. Just could not let go. I just want to finish tasks and and hate leaving anything unfinished. And right now, being a local pharmacist, the time that I booked in is the time that I'm working. If the shift ends, my duty is finished. I don't have to bring any work home, and I have the flexibility and headspace to focusing on other things such as sitting here and recording this video having the the energy and the headspace to pursue other hobbies that i could not do when i was working as a, a full-time pharmacist and i would like to end the video with another quote from Nabo ravikan learn to earn with your mind not with your time if you haven't watched my video when i share all of the learning about wealth and happiness from the almanac of Nabo ravikan i will put the link on the description below a book that full of wisdom so if you haven't read that please check it out and if you have read it already and you have other interesting quote from the book that you would like to share with me please do not hesitate to put that comment down below that's it that's all for me today thank you very much for listening and i look forward to see you again in the next video take care and goodbye